This is Meredith and today I'm going to be showing you how to download um, audiobooks with Libby on an Android device. So to get started, just tap on the Play Store from your home page. And once you're in the Play Store, you're going to want to search for L-I-B-B-Y, Libby. This will pull up the Libby by Overdrive app. On this screen, you see other apps that it might be related to or you might be interested in. You can also scroll through some screenshots of the Libby app. Just tap that install button up at the top. All right, it'll take just a moment for the app to install. And once it's installed, you can open it from this screen, but I'm actually gonna go back to my home screen so you can see what the icon looks like. Tapping on the Libby icon will open it up. And the first time you open up Libby, you are gonna need to do some, um, and enter some information. So go ahead and say, yes, I have a library card. And then search for your library. I'm just gonna search for the main library by zip code 85302. Okay, even though we're a Glendale library, we're part of the Greater Phoenix Digital Library, so tap on that. And in the next screen, you're going to tap under Choose a Location. That's where you'll select Glendale Public Library. Now here, you need to put in your library card number. This is the number from the back of your library card right underneath the barcode. It starts with 21442. You do need to put in the entire number. I just have part of mine whited out right now. But once you've got that number entered, go ahead and tap Next. Then in, it's going to ask for your PIN number, which is a four digit number that should be the last four digits of your phone number. Again, I have mine whited out, but I promise you I'm entering it. And when you've got that in, tap sign in. It, the app will take a minute to verify your information and then you should see a digital version of your library card. And you're ready to check things out, so go ahead and tap next. That'll take you to the Greater Phoenix Digital Library homepage in the Libby app. And on this screen, you can see some new materials that have been added to the collection. Um, you can also search for books up at the top by the magnifying glass. So I'm gonna search for The Catcher in the Rye. All right, and you can see the app making some auto suggestions. This is really helpful if you only know part of your title, but we know the title of The Catcher in the Rye. And the app is going to search up, search for everything matching the catcher in the rye. All right. And as it pulls up the book covers, I can tell that the catcher in the rye is not available because next to the cover of the book, it says place hold. This means another patron is using this item and I would have to go on a waiting list for it. So I can scroll up and down here and see if maybe there's a different edition of the book or something else that's interests me that's related, but in this case, I think I'm just gonna search for another title. Uh, deleting my previous search, I think I'm gonna search for Moby Dick this time. All right, let's go ahead and search, and the app will pull up everything related to Moby Dick. And here I can see that this is available because it says borrow right next to the title. Now something to be aware of is that there are audiobooks available for checkout in Libby that you can listen to on your f device. You can tell which titles are audiobooks because they have that little headphone symbol next to them. So just make sure you're getting the format that you're interested in when you check out. I do want this print copy of Moby Dick, so I'm just gonna tap right here on Borrow. And then it's going to show me my library card and I'm going to tap Borrow again. And yay, I've got my book checked out and the app is now downloading that to my device. I'll know when that process is complete because this little icon on the lower left hand side of the cover will turn into a check mark. And by tapping open book, I have opened my copy of Moby Dick here. And by swiping left to move forward or right to move backward, I can move through the contents of this book. One of the things that is cool about ebooks is that these chapter headings are hyperlinks. So if I know I want chapter 112, I can just click right on it. Tapping in the center of the screen will bring up some information about how much I've read and how far I have to go. I can also use this to use the back button at the top of the page to go back to the Greater Phoenix Digital Library. 
At the bottom of the page, you'll see where it says shelf. If you tap on that, this pulls up your personal bookshelf in the Libby app. And this will show you everything that you have checked out right now. What's the last book you read? Where did you leave off in your other books? When will those books be deleted from your device? Which is what do means for an ebook. Um, you can also do things like manage your holds from this sh um, screen, but we'll talk about that in a different video. So that's it. That's how you download ebooks. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.